Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Microsoft Surface Pen. This one happens to be the charcoal color. They are available in a few different colors and the model on this is 1776. We'll do a quick overview of this pen and if you are interested in more information or picking one up for yourself, they are linked below in the description. So in the box, of course, you got the pen, I got a battery as well as a whole bunch of paperwork and some basic setup instructions. It was really quite simple to set up with my Surface Pro 9. Now it is compatible with many Surface and Surface Pro models as well as the Studio. Cool thing about this is it is magnetic so I can stick it right onto the side of my Surface Pro. It keeps it all together really handy that way. But let's have a closer look at the pen itself. So that's what it looks like right there. There are a couple of buttons. There's one on the side here as well as one on the end and there's nothing really around the other side. So that's what it looks like. Now the tip that is removable. If you do need to replace it, it just slides out like that. Very handy. We'll go over the buttons in a moment. And this part here does come off as well. If you do need to replace the battery, it slides out like that and your battery comes out like that. And it is a 4A battery and that was included with the pen. So we'll slide that back in there. You can see there is a little green indicator light there as well. Now for the buttons, we'll start out with the first one here on the side. This one's kind of like the right mouse button on your mouse. Um, so what happens if you hold that down and tap on something on your computer, it's gonna bring it up as if you're holding the right mouse button down. So really handy. The other thing is if you hold it down and select stuff, it'll select a whole bunch of stuff for you. So it works very well for using it on your computer. Very handy that way. Now over here on your computer, now I've got the Surface app here on my um, Surface Pro 9. And you can see it shows up here in my Surface app. So the Surface Pen is collected, connected via Bluetooth. I can see I have 90% battery life left. It gives you a whole bunch of different options here. So device information, pen pressure, help and support, and settings. I'm gonna actually open up the settings here. And this is gonna open up the Windows settings. And you don't have to go through the app to find this, but this is the Pen and Windows Ink settings and it'll give you several different options here. So you can select what hand you write with. So if you're right-handed or left-handed, you can select that. Um, it'll allow you to pair the pen here as well. And we'll come back to that in a moment, but there's also additional pen options here that you can adjust. What we're looking for, choose what your shortcut button does here. And if we select this, we can adjust what the back button here does on our Surface Pen. So it's really handy that way. I've got it set up for the single click. So there's a few different options. You can single click it, you can double click it, or you can hold it down. So for the single click, if I single click that, it's gonna open up my Microsoft whiteboard and it should open up there. And I'll give you a little sample here. So if we click on new whiteboard, it's gonna load that up. Um, there's all sorts of um, different templates we can use. I'll just do a blank one here. And of course you could do this for a presentation. You can draw on the screen, maybe you have some stuff you wanna to write to people. There's markers, different things like that. You can draw right on the screen. Now the cool thing in the Microsoft Whiteboard app is you can use the back of the pen as an eraser as well. So that's really handy in here. So great for presentations, great for doing different things. Now it does work with a ton of different apps. Um, this is just one of them, but that's the way that works. Now the other thing is I have it set up for double tap here to do a um, screenshot or to open up the Microsoft snipping tool. So if I double click, it's gonna open up the Microsoft snipping tool so I can take screenshots, that sort of thing. So very handy that way. I'll shrink this back down. And then I actually have it set up for the hold the button down as to open an app. So if I hold this down, currently I have it set to open paint, but there's several different options in here. You could open a ton of different apps with it. So really handy that way. Um, so let's open Paint up, I'll hold that down. And if you're into drawing, you can easily do that. I'm not a very good drawer, but uh, you can draw all your little guys here. Um, take your screenshots, do everything like that, really handy. And it does feel really nice when you draw or write. It just feels like it should as it is a pen. And again, it's got really good weight to the pen. So very handy that way. Now the other thing down here at the bottom, now you'll see a little pen icon right down here. And this will allow you to open up all sorts of different apps as well. Um, there's the journal app, which is handy on my surface here. I'm gonna take a new journal. 
um, and it figures out what we're writing. So if I name this test, it knows, you can see it already figured that out and it'll open up a little document. We can take our notes, you know, buy some milk. You can just write that in there. Um, you can do whatever notes you want, save that, works really well. Um, yeah, and again, that's the Microsoft Surface Pen. I think it's great for drawing, taking notes, navigating your Surface. Um, feels really well built, strong, good weight to it. And it's a great addition to your Surface, Surface Pro or Surface Studio.